I do have a lot of nostalgia music on here, Negimbo. I actually went back and rewatched some of the best fights from uh, Bleach recently. Alright, we're going to be put to the burn test. This hand is not going to pass that burn test. Oh my god. This hand does not pass the burn test. Um, but we're going to damn well try. It's it's missing a, a life gain spell. You really want to see at least one if you're going to win against burn game one. We shall see. Boros Charmy? Like, the remand is awful, too. You really don't want to see remand against Burn. It's just not... It's not what we want to be doing. <laughs> it's not what we want to be doing. Looks like he doesn't have the green splash for a Tarkus. I am fine with you just... We have drawn a Mana Leak. Let's get back on track. Whoa, more Bleach music. It's shuffled, I swear. Fork bowl. Okay. <laughs> Skull crack. I mean, I almost value this Scalding Tarn more than I value the Remand in this matchup. Maybe I should also the uh, Mono Burn variant. Like, no, uh, it's a fetch land though, and we're at 7. Alright, go. Is he trying to play around Metal Lakes, his pause? Oh, I'm sure he's... I'm kind of glad this is our version's kind of a a counterspell heavy variant um, that actually favors us, but only if I can live long. Okay, so he's got so if I not here, I'd have to crack the scalding tarn, and I'd have to also tap the lighthouse, but it might be worth it. Because we need another card to be able to delve. So we got blue, blue. Three, four. And as you can see, Mana Lake doesn't cut it there. That's not me justifying the Logic Knot, but when the Knot comes up, it's really good. I think I'm only running one copy of Knot in this list, pretty sure. Skull crack me, Metalik. Spike. Okay, he's officially on top deck mode. <laughs> oh, we made it. I mean, I have to finish the game. Don't get me wrong. This is only the beginning. This is literally the beginning of our struggle. That's what this is. The, the question is, can we finish him? Well, we really just need to get a Snapcaster on the table. So, uh, that's what I'll be looking to do. Then step. Rift Bolt, okay.
Out of respect for, okay, there's the Borstrom. Out of respect for something like that, we need to consider. Now, here's the other thing we could do. Hang on, let me rewind a little bit. The other thing I could do is I could you like we could get both snaps on the table and then sit on the cryptic. Uh, that's the other play I have is use the metal lake here, and then get two snaps going, and then hope that well we'll have to spend the cryptic on the rift bolt though is the thing. I feel like this this favors us winning though like if I go for getting two snaps on the table because it makes the clock a lot faster and then we'll just eventually hit him with the colonnade for the last bit of damage hey how's it going Xander and by Xander I mean Brian what's up all right so let's go snap leak take care of this Boros charm and then we've got our clock on the table which is good he does have fork bolt in his list so maybe I don't want to crack this scalding charm we did see he has some fork bolt action. Maybe I don't want to crack this. Sulfur Falls. Okay. Who's here if he draws well? Like, if he hits... So we, have, we do have to counter this Rift Bolt. We are at three. So if we don't hit well off this Cryptic Command, but he hits well off his draw, we're pretty dead. We'll have to board. Now I've got some action for something like burn in my um, sideboard. So it's not just straight up over, but it... Okay, so we drew a helix. Let's fire that off before he gets his card for the turn. I guess there is a chance it's like a goblin guide, and then we'll wish we had tapped differently. I did mean to tap the lighthouse when I was doing the cryptic. Okay. He didn't get there. We take game one. Taking game one against Burn is really, really important. It's one of the reasons why I advocate for, if you're going to play a Magic Online, one of the best color combinations for playing Control, in my opinion, is Blue White Red. I love Esper, though. I've been brewing with an Esper variant. I think these are way too slow. I've been brewing with an Esper variant, but um, the problem with Esper on Magic Online is just it's just not very forgiving against... Um, against burn. It's just, it's just not forgiving. And that's a real shame because I think Esper is a really, really cool uh, color combination, but... Do we want to go with Emmer cooling him? I always feel like that's so awkward against burn. I feel like it's just better if you just win the spell battles. I feel like it's just better to do that. I think we just need a certain amount of blue if we're going to run the Commandeers. Give me a hold. Jace, what do we like? Do I have any sick new brews? Asks Zephyr. Um, I've been really trying to push for a Thought Scour style uh, Esper, but it hasn't panned out yet. What's our blue count? If I'm going to be running two commandeers, what we got? Probably the only other cards I bring in have to be blue, right? If those are going to work. We're at 20. I need more blue. Yeah. So the last card I put in has to be blue. So it has to be one of these six. Jace is modern legal? Yeah. Architect of Thought. Which one were you thinking of? Is this kind of like Jog? Actually, isn't random. The Gearhulk's been sweet. Uh, Gearhulk has been. Think of it like this: so you could spend six mana for Snapcaster Cryptic, or you could spend six mana for Gearhulk Cryptic. Which which would you rather have? A five six or a two one? Now Snapcaster's better in every other situation. Anything that's less mana, but in this case, it's actually really sweet. Roman because of Rift Bolt. Okay. I just I feel like Roman's not really great for this matchup. But I like that we have a purge and a timely reinforcements to bring in. I like that we've got some commandeer action. I actually was running uh, a copy of Commandeer at GP Charlotte that was really cool. I didn't just use it against Tron, I would also use it against Burn. I actually kinda wanna keep this on the back of the Helix, but that's a bad idea. You can't keep uh, uh, a Commandeer Helix five lander. 
Even if we're, you know, even on the draw, I don't think we can keep this. Five lands and a helix. Don't get me wrong. Helix is really good against burn, but it does not make a five land hand playable. Necessarily. He also kept a... Oh boy. Oh, the, the story with the Commandeer against the burn player I played at the GP, though, was uh, he had a Goblin Guide. He played a lightning bolt in a like a really weird spot. It was either my I guess it was He like main phases a bolt or something. And I commandeered the bolt and I had him bolt his own goblin guide. Which is pretty sweet. <laughs> or man because it's good against Rift Bolt. Yeah. Uh yeah, good night Brian. I'll see you friend. I don't think we can keep this. I love Helix in this matchup, though, but I don't think we can keep a... This is basically a five lander with one spell, one relevant spell. we got plenty of time to think about it, though. we got plenty of time, but I, I don't think this is going to cut it. I don't think this is going to cut it. I'm somewhat happy with my decision. I like Blessed Alliance against Fern. Yeah, I, I felt I felt similarly there. Similarly there, pause. I just felt like that last hand just didn't have enough going on. I'm on the draw, Mulligan's basically a 7 with choice on one. Yeah. So. So a lot of reasons to go to 6 these days with the new scry rule. Alright, cool file, Wolka. Okay. Doesn't mean I can't Blessed Alliance him. Swifty Spear. Now, Swifty Spear unfortunately interrupts the alliance, though. Maybe I should have considered. Remanding her doesn't do much, though. Yeah, remanding the Swift Spear doesn't do all that much. It's not terribly odd. I mean, a lot of our removal is red-based. And a Rift Bolt. There you go. Doesn't mean we're reserving ourselves to remanding the Rift Bolt next turn, because if that's the case, I need to consider what lands we're getting here. Or do we want to just take out the Swift Spear and not worry about a Rift Bolt? Like, we can, we can take out the Swift Spear with this Electrolyze, or even just Anger. Um... I guess there's reason to hold, because we did bring in things like Commandeer, so we might want to actually hold blue cards. Um, let's see. I guess if my plan is to just toast the Swiss Spear, I should get red here. We drew a Cryptic. Well, see, now I don't really want to get Basic Mountain. Well, you know what I could do? I could get, uh, I could take out the Swiss Spear here with the Electrolyze. I could get basic, uh, I could get a uh, blue source here. You like Electrolyzing Spear? I think that's, I think that's the play. Well, I can still get a Mountain. Next turn, if we draw, like, an untapped source... Like, let's say we draw the Aaron Mace. 